up in here. Allie Bell, she's back up in here. Hello, Allie. You were. I, I, I thought you. I thought you Elon Musk me. <laughs> no, no. But by the way, you were the most beautiful guest we've ever had frozen in Tableau by the internet. I, I was thinking the same thing. It's like I was giving you an answer to a question, and you were, you were, you know, you were looking, and I was thinking to myself, she's so taken by my answer. This is amazing. <laughs> she was she's, stunned into you know, silence. Cable news. People are normally. You know, getting a coffee or peeing or something while they're while they're watching, right? It's not a it's not a stare at Ali Belshi and watch what he does. I think this is amazing. Yeah, you're like that is creepy. She's staring at me like I'm somebody. a like she's a dog and I'm a snossage. What's going on? Um, <laughs> so we were talking about the midterms, about the um, so I mean Republicans. Obviously, we're talking about a red wave, forty seats. Uh, you were saying right now we're at uh, two eighteen to ten. Mm-hmm. Things are still yeah. obviously in flux, um, but it is a it's a very narrow margin. Right. I mean, I and I just think with Nancy Pelosi stepping down yesterday, she I'm sorry, is the greatest of all time. Trying to see Kevin McCarthy handle a slim Martian like that is going to be hilarious, I think. Yeah. Remember the degree to which she 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 just knew how to count votes. Right. She knew there were some people. And generally what happens in a slim majority Congress is that the people at at the various ends of things can have a little bit more power. Right. They get to ask for things in exchange for their votes. And Nancy Pelosi had a way of either managing that, either giving those folks what they needed or or getting some votes from uh, moderate Republicans, which she often did. This is going to be a bigger problem for Kevin McCarthy because he's got a very large contingent of people who don't want some basic things like passing budget. And, and, and keeping the government open. Uh, they want to take very big positions on a lot of things. He's going to have a hard time managing that. Well, and also, as you tweeted, House Republicans plan investigations and possible impeachments with new majority. We've been talking about that all morning. But, you know, it seems to me politically as, as exhausting as these two years are going to be, Ellie, this is going to be really good for Democrats politically because this is exactly what the American people just voted against. That's that right. Nothing, right. And, nothing and, they and ran the on are things they're going to do. Nothing for inflation. You and I about nothing. This, to the extent yeah. that the, the only policy uh, matter that Republicans offered in this uh, in this election was something about inflation. They didn't offer any solutions. They just blamed uh, Democrats for it. Well, you know what? Let's solve these things. If you've got solutions to that, if you've got solutions to all these things that are not culture wars, let's do it. But if you're going to hold up budgets, if you're going to shut down the government, if you're going to not increase the debt uh, limit, um, and you're going to have uh, impeachment hearings. Americans are going to get a preview of what could happen if you control uh, the the Senate and the presidency in 2024, which I think will be really interesting. And by the way, as long as Donald Trump continues to do what he's doing with that remarkable message that he delivered on uh, Tuesday night announcing his candidacy went went on for 57 minutes and even Fox (laughs) didn't carry the whole thing because it just meandered and did what Donald Trump does. Yeah. If Americans are frustrated about stuff, which they are partially about democracy itself and partially about the matters around them like inflation. I, if I were House Republicans, I would focus on on issues they think can look like they're solving problems. But I'm not sure that's where they're going. Yeah. No, I don't think so. And, you know, you tweeted Republican infighting escalates over poor 2022 election result as Trump reemerges. Um, it, it, this really it is interesting how committed I, it seems like the media has been to Democrats and disarray storylines. And sure, now, yeah. I mean, yeah. this party, we're just watching a party implode. We're watching someone announce a run for president while they're under investigation for sedition and espionage. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure in your yeah. career as a journalist you, no, you've never. ever seen a moment like this in our history, have you? No, and, and this Georgia case is, is getting interesting, right? Fonnie Willis in Georgia um, is, is getting closer to something that uh, Brookings Institution put out a, a, a report that was based on available reporting, public information, but a, a, a district attorney from a neighboring county uh, was involved in it and said, there's evidence of two to three uh, serious crimes here. And Fonnie Willis, the district attorney there, is not going to actually be uh, affected by the idea that Donald Trump has declared his candidacy. Uh, declared candidates can be uh, charged and indicted. So I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, Donald Trump gets to politicize anything that happens to him, but Donald Trump would have done that anyway, right? He would have called it a witch hunt. So he may just not be able to uh, candidate his way uh, away from some of the things, the five or six cases that are following him right now. And and again, he does not have the same support financially or politically from the Republican Party and 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 big donors that he had before. So he's going in. He's going in weakened. I think was it uh, Sonny Host Hostin? Yeah, yeah, I guess was saying yeah. her DOJ sources say there's going to be indictments in thirty to, or sixty to ninety days, something like that. Yeah. I mean, what are you thinking? What are you hearing? I mean, they're talking Look, I, obviously I, I about never, making referrals now. The the J six committees, you know, deciding. I've given up on hoping that Donald Trump faces justice, just because I I get yeah. disappointed all the time yeah. uh, when he does that. But 
these cases are sticking, right? There are real things that are going on, and they are around him. And to the extent that the candidacy, his candidacy, uh, is, is, I mean, his own daughter says she's not getting involved. Ivanka Trump says, I'm not getting involved in this campaign. To the extent that people are leaving him, um, I'm not sure that even that thing that feeds him, right? He gets fed by audiences and people and the idea that this is a hot story and, and he can enjoy that. He didn't seem like he was enjoying it all that much on Tuesday night. He's seeing this big money go away. He's seeing Republicans uh, desert him. He's seeing that McCarthy wouldn't say whether he'd support him. Uh, McConnell said, I don't have a dog in this hunt. So I, I don't know. I, I think he realizes the protections are not there around him. And what, what declaring for the presidency was supposed to do is clear the field. Yeah. Mike Pence won't say that he'd support him. Ron DeSantis isn't going anywhere right now. I don't know if that's good for America. Mike but Pompeo. Ron DeSantis or Mike Pence. Uh -huh. you know, yeah, right. So so it didn't have the desired effect. Um, so I don't I I. Yeah. I don't know what happens in the next couple our, months, but but Donald Trump is not as strong as he was a week yeah. ago. Yeah, our friend Glenn Kirshner tweeted, Trump's announcement of another presidential run will have zero impact on the ongoing criminal investigations of Donald Trump. Um, seems to be. Yeah, I mean, it seems fairly obvious that's what yeah. he's trying to distract from. But uh, um, People my, were taken by the idea that you do not indict a sitting president. And there was a lot of debate around that, but that's an actual... Um, you know, office of that, that's a Department of Justice memo. It's not a law, but it's a memo. But people were taken by that. Yeah. A not president is not subject to any. There's no memos about yeah. what you can and can't do to a non president. Yeah.